Well, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to Lovely Lavender Wishes. It's Renee, and I hope you're having a very blessed day. It has been a while, I know. Sorry, y'all. I've been wanting to do this for a while, Um, do like a little flip through of my illustrating Bible as well as my interleaved Bible. And we might have to do this in a couple parts. We'll see how long it takes. But we're going to start with this one. So I have been meaning to do this. I like to do this at least once every couple years or every year or so. Um, and I know I promised y'all that I'd do a flip through. And it's just been crazy. So a couple things. I started a new job um, that takes up all my extra time. I am doing um, like art digital creation type stuff. I'm uh, editing videos and putting together photos and things like that. So I could do it um, as I go and on my own time, but it takes up all my extra time. So that's why I haven't been online lately. That's number one. Number two, my husband has uh, taken a new job the last couple of years and has been traveling. He's home maybe five days a month, maybe. So I try to go with him as often as I can. And when I travel with him, that means I have no art supplies with me, so I can't create. So I'm doing all my video editing and things like that while I travel. Number three, I've been fighting some sickness. And as of right now, I still have a sore throat. It's a little swollen, so I might be a little hoarse. Um, so I've been still fighting a bunch of stuff. So I've been, you know, in, in and out of doctors and things like that. <laughs> um, so I'm dealing with that as well. So I really have been kind of MIA lately. And I'm sorry, y'all, but I will try to do and get back as often as I can. Just right now I'm in that kind of season where it's crazy season. <laughs> it's busy season. And look, y'all, I, since I haven't been crafting and I had a big event to go to for my husband's work, I was able to get my nails done. <laughs> and it's the first time they're all even, they're all nice. Woohoo! And so I'm kind of afraid to start crafting because I don't want to ruin them. But anyways, it's the first time I've done them, had them actually done in a very, very long time. So I'm kind of enjoying it right now. And I've had them for a couple weeks, so they're already growing out. But I'm so excited. But anyways, let's get looking in here and we'll talk as we go. So I remember starting, the one thing I love about Bible journaling and putting dates on and then flipping back through maybe a couple years later is it kind of reminds me of where I was at during that time of year. So this was one of the first pages I did in this Bible. And I remember starting it in 2020. Y'all, this was right before the whole COVID thing happened and the whole pandemic hit and I had all these plans for that year. I had trips planned. I was supposed to go to Bali and Singapore and Dubai and Aruba and a few other places. All got canceled because of COVID. Um, and who knew about the whole toilet paper thing? Do y'all remember that? But when I date and go back to all this, it just reminds me of what I was thinking about be be at that time versus um, if I didn't have this, I would probably forget. So that's one great thing. It's like a journal. Bible journaling is really like a personal journal for me. So this is how I started this Bible. And y'all, I was terrified to start in this Bible. I think I had owned this Bible for maybe two years or a year and a half or something before I ever started working in it because it was so pretty. It was so pristine and I was so afraid to ruin it. So finally, I was just like, you know what? I just need to jump in and do it. And I remember these being my first couple pages and I was terrified that I was going to ruin my Bible. But you know, now I look back and I think, oh my gosh, that's just silly. You know, go in and, and just craft and create and don't be afraid to jump in. I know a lot of people say they're afraid to start in a new Bible. Just do it. And once you get going, it becomes really one of your treasured possessions and memories. Okay, so this one, again, I'm not going to go through everything, but we're just starting on the first page. So, you know, I did this little... Um, a tag and I even put here it took me a long time to get started in this new bible um and I put my thoughts and feelings in here because I love it, it like I said it's like a little journal oh my god I forgot how it went in here there's like a little pocket back here that I made there we go but I liked doing like little tags and feathers I like adding a little whatnot and here this was when I was really getting into my sewing so I sewed this huge pocket here on the contents page and I put key verses of my year, um, some some quotes that I liked, my core values, my hopes and goals, um, my words for 2020. And look at it, stand strong, gather bloom. That one was a hard one for that year, 2020. Um, and I had my reflections and I had more reflections here. So those were like my personal notes to myself and some hopes and goals and core values. And I put like some 
lace and fabric and you know I like to add a little bling bling and some lace here on the side so let's just kind of quickly flip through this I don't even know what all pages I did <laughs> but it'll be fun to look back on so I know a lot of these pages I did through and these are supposed to be 3d like they pop up I remember doing these ah yeah they little pop up, pop up little butterflies and such. Um, but all these pages I did, uh, a lot of them during my, uh, Facebook, uh, groups through my Facebook groups, either live or through, um, inspiration from people from my Facebook groups. And a lot of these were either done with napkins, um, printed on sticker paper. This was like a glossy sticker paper. I printed this image on. Um, I do get a lot of my images through Pixel Scrapper or Digital Scrapbooking on digitalscrapbooking.com online. You get five free images a day that I download and I keep in a folder. Um, I also get a lot of these from my Facebook groups. There's a ton of Facebook groups on Facebook, even Instagram, I think. But I, I'm sure on Facebook groups that you can get free digitals through your groups. So you can join a lot of those groups. Um I think this was a his palette image. I'm not going to remember all the images, y'all. But you can go back in all my videos. I have videotaped how I did all these pages over the years. So go back. Um, since I haven't been on too much lately, you can go back and look at my old videos and follow along and craft along with me. And then a lot of times I would do like little, you know, uh, tip-ins with folders. And here I have like... I'm not going to take it out. I have a private prayer in here um, on, this little, on this little card that I put in here. And I did some sewing here. But I do like a lot of tip-ins and such. Let's see. I might be skipping some, but we'll... And then God reveals some napkins, some 3D things. Let's see. I still have a lot of space in this Bible that I still want to do. So at the beginning, I was really into glossy stickers. And then after a while, I kind of switched over to matte stickers. But I go back and forth. Um, I like to play with washi tape and things like that. Let's see. May the Lord pour blessings upon you. I really do like looking back at the dates and seeing um, my what I did for that day. Because I, it really does bring me back. Oh, I definitely remember doing this page as well. Um, this one has some 3D. Um, I did some pop dots on these, some foam dots that made them like the, a few of these flowers like stand up from the page. So you can get like a 3D effect on these pages. I remember using my pearlescent watercolors on these too. So you get that shimmer and shine. But I hope you're all doing wonderfully and I hope you're all blessed. Um, my schedule has been not so. <laughs> um, but I've been enjoying it. We've been traveling. Um, my husband travels a lot for work. So like I said, I've been able to go with him. And this job that I got affords me to be able to do it on the go. So I love it. But it does take up a lot of time. So um, I've been working on that a lot. Because I literally just started a couple months ago. Two or three months ago, I think now. Um, I don't know. The time's going by so fast. Here's another little tag that I made. I like doing like a lot of tags with like little ribbon or thread or what have you but yeah um so that's what I've been doing and trying to get healthy Oops, I'm gonna have to glue some of this stuff as I'm going through that's another thing let me see if I my glue stick we'll just re-glue that oops every once in a while things will come up you just re-glue them. I remember doing this page too, set apart, being set apart. These are some 3D stickers I had, alphabet stickers. And just, I use, um, for those of you who have been following me, you know I use old hymnals and tear out um, the music pages and stuff. Um, you can take out old pictures from magazines. You don't need to buy a lot of craft stuff. Oh, and that's another thing. Talking, gosh, so much has been going on. But, uh... So I was about ready to craft and then one day I was printing out something and my printer kaput, it went out on me. So I had to wait a while so I could earn enough money to get myself a new printer. And I literally just got this printer maybe, I don't know, a couple years ago, two, three years ago. And it went out on me completely trashed. I don't know what happened. I think we had a power surge here at the house or something. 
completely dead. So I had to get myself a new printer. So I couldn't print stuff. And yes, I do have a lot of craft stuff here, but I've just been running so much. I didn't have time to sit down and put together stuff. So I just wanted to print out like a page or something. And no, as soon as I was ready to craft, my printer wasn't working. So it was like a combination of a bunch of things. But I finally have some time now. So my husband is traveling this week. I did not go with him because I am fighting this cold. Um, so I have a little bit of time where I can do some of this stuff now. So I really wanted to kind of go through this. Oh, I remember. Okay, so these, this was like from the dollar store. Glue with these, uh, it was like glitter glue with these chunks of uh, like hexagon images in there. Our little bits. And I, I use this one a lot. I do use a lot of stuff from the dollar store as well over and over again. A lot of my stencils I get from Amazon, AliExpress, or like sales, like at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or whatever. Um, but I have so much stuff I'm trying not to go to the store right now. <laughs> um, here's my stones of remembrance. And I remember my son and I, we actually collected stones and we put some scriptures on the stones for remembrance for the year. So that kind of reminds me of that. This one is grow old in grace. Ah, uh, yes. I love growing older. I do, but I don't want to grow old. Growing older is a process, a journey. Growing old is a conclusion, a destination. I loved that quote. I'm still trying to stay as young as I possibly can. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to be one of these funny, happy ladies. I'm working on it. Sometimes I feel old, though. When I get out of bed in the morning, I'm like, man, who beat me up this <laughs> last night? Because <laughs> I get out so sore. I loved doing this page. So for those of you who have been following me, my, my art process has gone through a uh, stage or processes over the years where I used to just do like a simple image and a quote. And then I started doing coloring and then I just started doing more mixed media. And now I'm really enjoying the mixed media, but I really enjoy doing a lot of different layers, like things on top of things on top of things and building up my page. So this is when I, I think I really kind of started doing that getting into like, you know, adding stencils on top of watercolor, on top of napkins, on top of stickers and all that, making bows. Oh, let's see. I don't think there's anything in there. This I use, oh, we got another one. Another Rogue, let's see. I don't know where it was, but we will just stick it right there, I guess. We'll stick it there. Um, you know what, I don't like it there. <laughs> We'll stick it right there. I like it there better. Um, but this was a his palette image, and then I had all these like little die cuts of uh, leaves and such, and then I just kind of built her up with all these stickers. And some of these stickers I got from my oh what was it um your creative studio box. I had to stop buying those boxes, y'all, because I have way too much stuff. So I had to stop. I to stop. I don't think there's anything in here, but and then I remember making this gate. There's like a little opening, and you see the garden, and then you open this, and Jesus King is at the gate with his hands out, saying, "Come to me, behold, I stand at the gate." I love that. And so I had this image, and I just liked doing layers again. And it doesn't take up a lot of space in your Bible. It doesn't make it really thick when you do things like this. I mean, it's just paper. So you can do multi, multi different la layers. See, look at that. It's pretty. And it's fun to explore. It's kind of like little mystery pockets throughout your Bible, too. I just imagine my son when, you know, he gets these. Because I'm probably going to pass it down to him and his wife, his wife-to-be one day. Um, and they can kind of see where my thought was, you know, my process with God. So yes, a lot of these I imitated off of, like I said, my Facebook page groups, um, some lives or maybe pages that I saw people do. And I was like, ooh, I really like that. I want to try it. So I did that. Some of them were originals um, that I did live. But yeah, you can get inspiration from pretty much anywhere. Oh, I remember doing this one. This one was so fun. These little bees, I loved them. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this was his palette images, I think. And I loved this washi tape. I Someone gave it to me as a gift, and I'm totally out of it. Um, and I really, really like it. I want to find where I can get some of that again. 
I do get a lot of my washi tape through, let's see, uh, AliExpress, but now there's a place here in Houston, I think called the Craft Store, I think that's what it is, with a craft place, and it's got a ton of washi tape, and so I bought a bunch, and I probably have enough washi tape to last my lifetime, so I'm trying not to buy any more. And then this was Find Your Tribe. The, these were pieces and um, handmade paper that I got from a, tr it, was, it was a group in Africa, a group of women who made this paper and these image, these um, little pieces. And I bought them because it was through like a, a Christian organization that was trying to help these women out. And so I was buying a lot of their craft stuff. And that's where this, so this is actual paper made by African women in Africa, um, you know, helping them, you know, get a step up in life. So I love that. Try to support those when I can. This was another one of my first pages I remember. You can see it's just simple. I would just, you know, have the image, a couple stickers, maybe add some thread or whatever. This is thread that I had from my scrapbooking days a long, long ago. I have, still have so much. But I remember like just loving just that, just simplicity. Sometimes a simple page is the best. And then you can see <laughs> when I really started getting into uh, the layering, you can you can kind of see the process. Um, where was the date on this one? 2022, so March 2022. This, I remember doing this page, I was dealing with a lot of stuff and I was dealing with my crisis of faith and I was like you can see the kind of the darkness here as well as the hope there's like darkness and hope like I was like struggling and like that's what these pages really symbolize to me and I can go back and I can remember I'm like oh yeah I remember what I was feeling oh okay Ooh. let me see if I can something happened here Ooh, carefully and then this one was doing um that technique with, uh, what is it, Q-tips. I had so much fun doing this page. I think I did this as a live, um, maybe a live or just a video. You, I have all these on video, um, but yeah, go check it out, Psalm 1. And I just love these colors. These are like my favorite colors. I had so much fun painting and doing a really bright page. I was terrified of doing a page like this in my Bible, but I was so excited how it came out. And um, I was following an artist who does this and she was just, she really inspired me. So that's kind of why I did that. And here's another one with like different layers. So we made these little circles, cut them out. Uh, had some cheesecloth that I had dyed. We have a lot of collaging and uh, stenciling and just layers. Again, layers, stamping, stenciling, collaging, cutting and tearing of paper and just these images and just being, um, I remember this being the night prayer and I was praying to God because I could not sleep because I had so much going on and I was like, Lord, just, you know, I need peace at night. And that, that's what this reminds me of. But again, see, this is what's so fun about going back into your Bible. I remember this being alive on one of my Facebook groups. You are my cup of blessing. I love that, overflowing. Now, these little teacups were so cute. I love those. And I do ha have a lot of butterflies <laughs> throughout my whole thing. Okay, I remember this one. I'm calling you God for you will answer me. Praise Jesus. I do have, yeah, flowers. Let me see, I'm trying to get you all right in here. <laughs> flowers, butterflies. I do that a lot. Oh, this one, I, do, I remember this one too. Oh my gosh, pray and listen, listen. God is listening to us. I know that we can go to him with anything and he will listen. Here's another one about the stones of remembrance. The Lord is my rock. This one, I was terrified again of doing these bright, bright colors, acrylic paints. When I, and this one we did with a credit card. I remember taking like acrylic paint and just smearing the paint on. So what I, what I try to do in my Bible, I try to push myself out of my comfort zone and not stick with what I know I like. I try to, if I see a different technique, I really do try to use it. And see, my worst fear happened that the paint got on the other page, but I'm not worried because I can paint over that with white or I can add that into whatever image I'm going to put on this page or what have you. 
I don't worry now so much about like making a mess or whatever because it all just like ends up flowing into each other and really works anyway. So just have at it, have at it, explore, have fun with it, push yourself because I've really noticed that the pages that I pushed myself on were the pages I like the best. So this one was weight. I remember I was dealing with, you know, I'm like, Lord, what is going on? And he just kept telling me, wait, 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 wait. So I'm still working on that a little bit. I'm working on a lot of this a little bit. This is about music and worship and how I love music. I listen to music every day. I have to. That's like my happy place. That and the beach. And oh, this one I loved. This one was like, just like this little, brought out the kid in me. You know, like the candy store kid in me and just the pastel colors and all that. I really enjoyed playing with like these little blings and all that. Ooh, talking about that, y'all. Look what I found. I forgot I had this on my table. Look what I found at the dollar store the other day. I went for a card and I limited myself. I just bought this one item. But this is Gem Mesh. It's in the floral garden section of the dollar store. Look at this, y'all. I'm going to use this in one of my, once I get crafting again. <laughs> but look at that. That would even go good on this page. <laughs> but anyways, so that's what I got at the dollar store. So I put it on my table because I really want to use it. And this, you know what? Oops, we, lost a, we lost a sticker, y'all. Oh, and I can't get it up with these nails. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm going to put some glue on here. I don't know where it came from, but we'll figure it out. Let's see. We'll just, where do we want it? I'll just put it right there. So, um... What was I saying? Oh, uh, another reason why I wanted to do this flip through is because I haven't crafted in so long. I needed like a jump start, and this is really kind of getting my creative juices going again. Um, I just got in such a routine of just getting up working and doing what I need to do that I kind of fell off the whole creative bus. <laughs> so this is a good way. If, if you're not feeling your mojo or feeling like, oh, I don't know what to craft today or whatever, kind of go through your old stuff. And sometimes it like gets you inspired. Like this is all getting me inspired again. So this page, I know I did a lot of embossing using um, my embossing tool, um, my heat embosser and you know, all the different embossing powders. This one was just some napkins and a music sheet some napkins and like maybe a couple stickers as well and see here look I got some from the other page but I'll just work that into my my image deep calls to deep I remember that page too and I was like this I was, you can see help I was calling out for help during this time so it says, oh, the depth of your steadfast love for me. I was trying to remind myself of that. And I remember I was like calling. I'm like, I'm in the deep, Lord. I'm in over my head. Help. Bride to be. We're all God or Jesus' bride. I love that. Be still. I needed that at that moment. I remember that. I needed to be still. And then this one. I love the birds. I loved these napkins. And I really wanted to use these napkins in here. So I did some layering with some color, some stenciling, some white on top. And then I think, I think these are stickers. No, those are napkins. Those are part of the napkins, I think. Or maybe that's a sticker. Looks like napkin. Uh, this one really spoke to me, a broken hallelujah. So at one point, I did get into doing these little tip-ins. Oops, my toast totally came out. Because see, sometimes the washi tape does not stick unless you add the glue. And I think I did add glue, but probably nowhere near enough back then and you know as your bible gets older things will come out i mean it's not all unless you're using super glue it might not so i did i was in this mode of doing these um like acetate page papers these clear pages and collaging on one side you can even collage on the other i didn't collage on the other on this side but um you can and then you can, this gives you room to put more imagery on your page down here. So I was doing a lot of like double pages, tippins they're called. Um, and I liked this clear paper because, or this clear acetate um, paper. These are those things that, oh gosh, projection paper or transparency paper or whatever. You can get them at any like Hobby Lobby or office supply store. 
I remember this, the tears, crying out to the Lord. The Lord is my refuge. This was um, some imagery, those pop, when I, I don't know what it's called, that pop art, I guess. So I just downloaded some images off the internet. So again, if you don't have a lot of craft supplies, you can download pretty much anything. This is a lot of layering, shine on, and I did a lot of foil and gold. Okay, let me see here. Um, uh, we are better together. This I remember, um, I know who gave it to me. I just, you know, I was gifted the stamp from a dear sister in Christ and I really wanted to use it. And I love the fact that, um, I have these washi tapes, the stamp, and we are better together. It's hard. Sometimes I feel like I'm all alone. Like, um, cause I work from home. I hardly ever get out to see people unless I'm traveling or whatever. So sometimes I feel alone, but I know that we have, we're a family sisters in Christ. And I love the black and white and the bright pink. Pink is one of my go-to colors, pink and purples. <laughs> so, um, and I just love fall. I, you're going to notice that I have a lot of fall imagery in my Bible as well, because I do love fall and butterflies. Here's those butterflies again. I think I got these stickers at the dollar store. They're like double, like 3D stickers, which I like. Napkins. So just literally, if you don't know how to draw, you can just add napkins to your, your Bible and you got an image right away. Okay, so this was God's plan revealed. Sometimes we don't understand his plan. It looks like a big puzzle piece. And yet, in the end, it's all revealed. I loved this one. It was a simple page. We just colored with colored pencil this image and did some collaging back here. And listen, just sometimes we need to be quiet and listen to the Lord. Anticipate. This is before the 2020 thing happened. And I was like, anticipating the year. What's going to happen this year? And boy... Boy, did we get hit, huh? <laughs> um, hear my prayer. The world and everything in it is yours. The earth lasts in flowers. I love that. Quote. Here is, God is my protection. No harm shall overtake me. So here's that verse. Um, rescue 911. I remember learning this. Psalm 911 is the rescue psalm. And 911, that number... Um, was they picked that number because of this psalm. That's the story I read about how 911 came around about was because of this psalm. And so here I have a prayer, like the, a big um, tag that I put in here. Um, it was my personal prayer for no harm. God is my protector. No harm overtaking me. Now I got to get it back in. We shall see. Uh, it's pretty tight fit there, but we'll just go like this. Um, so I remember reading that and I thought that was fascinating and he will give for, he will give his angels charge concerning you to guard you in all your ways. I love that, that he is watching over us. Okay. Let's do a few more and then we might do a part two, sing a new song with napkins and things. Again, here's, um, the Q-tip with different colors. Loved doing that. Here I had this sticker, so all this is is some napkins down, and then this like 3D felt sticker on top, and some stamping in the back. This one was like a collage type thing, like a monochromatic, and then I just added a few different colors just to pop some colors. Here's another um, autumn, you know, fall type. And these I collected, these are those little confetti things. Uh, my friend had a, oh, like a Thanksgiving dinner at her place and she had confetti all over the table and I collected all of it. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm collecting it for my Bible journaling and my scrapbooking and stuff. And now I just, I just staple those into um, my Bible. And, and it kind of reminds me, it reminds me of the dinner we had, the Thanksgiving dinner. So it's kind of like little remembrances. I do that with tickets too and just different things, fabric, um, threads, ribbon, all of that. This was fun. This was when we were uh, dyeing, uh, like seam binding. We can dye, you can dye it your own different colors. So we would dye it our own seam binding. And then we made like this little tassel type thing. And this was napkins with some, as you can see the shimmer and shine, my pearlescent watercolors 
and some stamping or stenciling. And then here was Prickly Prayers. This was a, a little mini devotional I did with a group. This one was using, I think, Jude Dankworth. Is that her name? Dankworth. Uh, don't quote me. But she has these images, these napkin images and these, like, girl images. Um, these are Tim Holtz, I think, uh, Word, Fetty, Washi Tape. But this one, let's see, flips over. So it's, again, another tip in that I did. I loved this image. Um, I'm learning to fly, and so I just glued it on the back of this page. So we did this really big, um, dark kind of stamping and coloring, and then with some gold splatters and such. Um, and I glued this on, and then being fearless, the fear less, don't have fear. And here's another piece of that paper I just glued, and this image I really liked. So I just like that whole message about being fearless. Live a good life, trust in Christ. Here we did like just white, like white embossing and white stickers on some acetate paper, clear paper. This was a challenge we did in 2020 where we had to learn different verses of Psalm 119. And so this was like my first uh, image that I put in here. This was early, an early image too, January. This was before the whole 20, you know, the whole COVID thing happened. And I was learning Psalm 119 through that. And this is where you're going. This is when I felt directionless. I was like, help me, Lord, find my way, compass, and all that. Here was the beginning of the Journey Through the Bible group that I was in. I think this was back in 2020. Um, the Adventure Begins. That was our beginning page. That was fun. That was a great group. I learned so much. They're still doing it. Um, different. Uh, they're, I think they're in. Oh, gosh. Don't call it. The last time I looked, they were in Acts. I just I haven't been able to keep up. So they're going through different books of the Bible. So different Facebook groups. I loved this. He answers my call. This was tissue paper that we colored and then did some uh, um, silver foil on. He had some stickers and this is a washi tape I had with these little uh, jellyfish. So yeah, I just kind of dig through my stuff and figure out what kind of matches with the page that I'm doing or what will um, go with it. Okay, so Childlike Faith, this was a page that I hated at first, and I had these, I did the, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, essentially, but it's all about childlike faith, and so it does look kind of like a child that did this page, so it did work out in the long run. I mean, it's just, you know, it's kind of like, wow, it looks like a little kid did this page and had fun with it, and, you know, it kind of, maybe it was, it was my inner child coming out while I did this page. It wasn't as... Uh, what's the word polished as I liked but hey it's not supposed to be you know <laughs> and this is when we I think this is the end of our our first study and this was celebrate God's goodness we were celebrating that we made it through the end and it's got I got little tags in here I made like a little um, confetti you can see like a little confetti shaker card right there we were celebrating that we got through the whole thing and we learned all our, you know, everything that we were learning in that one. This is about kneeling in front of the Lord. This is who am I? This is when I was struggling with who am I? Why am I here? What am I supposed to be doing? You know, so that's why I put who am I? <laughs> um, open my eyes. Show me what matters. Again, more of these butterflies. I love these stickers. I don't know where I got those from. These were some just line drawings I think from his palette but I'm not sure I can't remember them all y'all I have to go back to my videos and look so here I also used cards I used a lot of cards in my journaling so these were Christmas cards that I just cut out and made as a border here um, I did some embossing here with embossing powder and stamps and then this just this image and I loved this, this little old lady image. I don't know where I got her from. Maybe Google. I had these stamps, so I just used those. And dance as if no one's watching. I love that because I love to dance. And my dancing has gotten atrocious over the years because I am getting sore <laughs> and stiff. But I still love to dance. And don't be a fool, Proverbs, wisdom. 
I saw Kimberly, I think it was Kimberly over at his palette did a page like this way back in the day and I loved it and I had this napkin so I had to imitate. Imitation is the best form of flattery y'all. <laughs> when I imitate a page, whoops, when I imitate a page, I that means I it really stuck with me. I loved this, just the old fashioned type images about raising children and family and I'm very old fashioned in that way so that kind of brings that out. Here oh, I have a little this was a fresh start uh, for a new year, and I remember like I wanted to stay focused on the Lord. See, January 2020, I really wanted to focus on him. And I think, yeah, this opens into, I have a little, some cards inside. Um, so it's like another little tip-in pocket that I did. Where does the apple in my eye? So again, I use a lot of the images from the groups I get. This was... Uh, napkin and then I had these feathers so I wanted to add and then I had these little jewels so I added those so again you can just put the napkin down if that's what you're interested in but for me I like to add some stenciling see I like brought the whatever the feathers out more because my napkin ended here so I wanted to like extend it um you can you know just fool around and do whatever you feel comfortable with but I like to add a little extra 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 um, these were some stickers that I had from probably the dollar store. And so I'm going to sit down for a minute, y'all. <laughs> so these are stickers that I have from the dollar store. So I use pretty much just the whole page and just kind of cut it up. I use even the backgrounds of the stickers sometimes. Like this was the background, I remember. And so I try to um, put those in different places. And this was when I was thinking about my friends. And this about being um, a man who finds a wife, finds a good thing, and obtains favor from the Lord. I love it. It was just pretty, a pretty page. This one, again, was raising children. is like drafting a blueprint. You have to know where to draw the lines. And I liked just making my own little, I had this blueprint paper that I used. And I just drew the little, um, like, tools that you use for blueprint, you know, for drafting up blueprints blueprints and these pictures were from a children's book I had so it was an old children's book I had and I was just cutting up pictures so again you can get images from anywhere cards books magazines your mail junk mail whatever this was garden of hope I loved this I like sometimes to play with different color combinations as well this was grow and discover from proverbs what was this one 23 yeah, 23 verses 23 to 25. I just love these images. So I added some gold uh, pen, paint and pens and all that. Y'all know, I like to add a little bling if I can. Uh, home sweet home, about the birds in their nests. Home is my happy place. Uh, this, I loved this one, reflect God. This is a stained glass window image. And... Um, I used, on this one, I used texture paste and then some water, I think watercolor. It looks like my pearlescent watercolor on the texture paste after it dried. Um, I'll glue this. And then some collaging right here, which is some torn paper. And how, you know, the stained glass windows reflect the sun we're, we're to reflect God. I also like using rub-on transfers. So I use those and some of these, like you see, this one's even flaking off a little. Um, to me, it's not that big of a deal. Um, it's supposed to be, I like the rough kind of look. So I don't mind like if my rub-on transfers are half on, half off, it doesn't bother me. And then this one, I had this little charm, which I loved. And I love the whole steampunk feel. So that's kind of what this page represents. I had this big image, so I wanted to put that down and and add this so it looks like one full page, but then you can open it and still read your verses. And I know some people talk about that they don't like scrapbooking over their verses, which is fine. This Bible was specifically for my art. So I remember doing this. So we put a little Brad here so you, this can move time. I feel like time is going by so fast, y'all, so fast. This one was fun. This was collage with like 3D images. I even did a little clip here at the top with this uh, um, folder. And then I did a whole booklet in here with prayers and stuff. So I sewed like this little booklet and I put my notes and prayers and, and such in here. Let's see. And I have more room to write more. 
so we did that. So this is a good way to add extra into your Bible too, if you don't wanna, if you don't have enough space here, like if you write a lot like me, <laughs> and I put, oh, happy day, begin with a grateful heart. And that's a lesson I'm trying to learn every day. And remember, wisdom, So this is another one of those tip-ins with the acetate paper. Time is precious and fleeting. Use it wisely. And I liked this, that the eye kind of shone through this. And when you flip it over, you have this image. And I have these clocks and such. And I kind of made it like a monochromatic page with just the pink. So there's that. And then Song of Songs is all about love. My one and only. I love this little... Uh, bow I made and this this napkin I loved this napkin about this little bird bringing him his flower and then I did this page where this was like oh, let's see if it's a 3d pop-up you see that 3d pop-up and I show you how you can make this on my uh videos let's see there we go pops up like this little 3d flower pop-up this was fun it takes a little time, but it's really fun and it stays flat. And so this was a napkin and just some images and some embossing. And then we did this. So this one was oh, it's Song of Songs or, oops, ah, thank you. let's see, Song of Songs, which verse was this? Oh, it's talking about spring in first bloom. This is either two or three, two or three. So there's that page, so you can look that up in my my list of videos. And this was a beautiful spirit talking about how our spirit is the most important thing versus looks. How beautiful your sandaled feet. I'm from Texas. Well, now I'm from Texas. So I did this whole boot thing because everyone wears boots here versus sandals. I mean, we wear sandals too. But And then here is white as snow. This one, uh, I did this little charm at the top. Um, I don't know what that's from. Probably I, I marked that page off or something. But this is a card that I had. Again, a Christmas card. So I, I cut out a lot of images from cards, um, some die cuts, some sequins, some stamping, some embossing stamping. And this was just a fun one. I love doing winter scenes. Gosh, there's so many, y'all. I had no idea this thing was so full. We'll do a few more and then we'll do part two. Okay, will I answer the call? Where you lead, I will go. And I have these stickers um, from a little booklet I got from Michael's. So yeah, I mostly get all my stuff, just so y'all know, from, like I said, from Michael's Hobby Lobby. I get everything on clearance. I get it from garage sales. Um, a lot of my printables I get from Facebook groups or Pixel Scrapper or like free places. I'm, I'm part of a digital scrapbooking group too. So I get some images from them. Uh, and then I look around, magazines, cards, what have you. Google, <laughs> look up online. His light will shine. The Jesse tree. I think these images were from Soul Sisters. Uh, Charlene Warwick over at, uh, what is it? Art. Oh, I forgot what she calls hers. I'd have to look it up, but it's Charlene Warwick over at Soul Sisters. And so these were cute little images for Christmas. Let's see. Quiet confidence. I loved that. I loved the message of this um, message that we got. Um, it says, there is no person walking this earth more powerful than a child of God, boldly and properly trusting the promise of the living God living in quiet confidence. I loved that. And I just used some extra uh, ribbon I had here. So you can use little pieces of things. You don't need a lot. So if you have like a little scrap of ribbon from like a chocolate um, box you get or whatever, use it. Um, I have these little washi tapes. So I do like to use washi tapes. Here's cards again. And I didn't have to do anything except cut out these images of the cards. That is it. And put some stickers. I So I colored some watercolor, glued down the cards, you know, made the little flower here at the top or the flower was already made. I just put a little jewel there, did some washi tape. So a lot of this is super simple. 
um, but it looks way more complicated than it is because it look, it look you have all this shiny glimmer from the card but I didn't do that that was all there okay we'll just leave this here so fall for Jesus he never leaves I loved this one I just loved the colors this was that smooshing technique that I learned to do and I just love it and I had to put some bling on it I just love the gold and the golden colors and then a lot of these were stickers that I had from the dollar store I, th I think from the if I'm not mistaken um and I think my sticker ended right there and then I just continued it with some uh uh colored pencil and you would never even know it looks like the whole thing so you can just add things and I love it so there we go y'all that's part one we'll finish off part two with this and then we'll check out my interleaved bible too but I so appreciate it. Thank you all for sticking with me. I know it's been a while since I've been crafting. Um, I'm just going through a season right now. But I promise, I promise I will be back. And I will do w what I can when I can. Um, but yeah, I'm always thinking about you. And I do miss y'all. And thank you, thank you. Um, love y'all. Have a great day. Bye.